What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to go over some PTS coverage. The new weather system is coming, and it looks absolutely amazing. I am so ready for Atlantic City to be here into the wastelands of Appalachia. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button that bell notification icon and drop us a like let's get in here and talk about it y'all before we get in here and talk about the new weather update i have to give a huge shout out to dtd gamer because in their video they talked about where to find this at in the pts and i swear if it was a snake it would have bit me because i was looking and i could not find that but seriously bud thank you so much for saying this is in appliances and once I looked there, it was so easy to see that it was right in front of me the entire time. Now, with this change coming to Fallout 76, we're going to have two styles of weather at players camps out there in the wastelands of Appalachia. We're going to have a clear setting and we're also going to have the Atlantic City boardwalk setting. I think a lot of users are going to be using this boardwalk setting because it looks absolutely amazing. And one of the great things about this weather system is that the power doesn't actually need to be routed to the device itself it's actually a wireless power so as long as you have a power connector within its range then you should be all good and dandy to go i love that it's wireless and you don't have to run a cable to it now maybe you don't want the immersion broken when you go to a player's camp from it being rainy to clear skies or the boardwalk weather system being there friends you are going to be able to go to settings and under game you can turn on or off players weather systems at their camps and it's just a simple toggle on or toggle off. Now, once the Atlantic City update comes out, I am definitely going to be putting the boardwalk weather system out because A, that station looks so absolutely cool with the dice that are just rotating. But y'all, look at these Blue Devil statue eyes. They pop and it makes me wonder what else is going to pop in this lighting. And now with Bethesda and Double Eleven adding these two choices for players to make at their camp with what weather you would like to see, I think a highly requested feature in Fallout 76 is going to get fulfilled with a winter weather system at your camp. That will be absolutely mind-blowing. And I'm going to be real with y'all. It'll probably be snowing at my camp every single day of the year no matter what day of the year it could be july and it's going to be snowing i have no idea but i live in georgia i don't get to see snow a lot sometimes i forget what it looks like we could have a little christmas in dixie during the holiday season i think that would be absolutely amazing let me know in the comment section below what you think about the new weather events and what type of weather event would you like to see added to fallout 76 y'all Thank you so much for checking this video out, and I would love to thank our channel members. The Frugan, Just Jake, Herb Cross, Blood, Sebastian, Nova, Prophet, Zach, CRM, Blaze, Mataz, Bud, Cranberry, Relish, Gravy Train, Bay, I am Mr. Me, Not You, Quinn, Indy, Andy, Warren, Coma, Patrick, Super Loki, Megsley, Katie, Ghost, Petty, Lewis, Forrest, James, Purple Day, Stabby, Hokey, Bo, Alex, Alejandro, Crab, Articular, Mike, Star Strafe, Nick, Fabio, David, Nerdy Chick, D20, IK, Humdog, Tonks, Forever Here, Dark Avenger, Dale, Darkwing, Dabby, Allen, Chewy, Fatal, Crackerjack, Potus, Vermilion, George, Labyrinth, Rat, Rod, Julius, ian hammer and jesse thank you so much for supporting us out here in the wasteland y'all have a great and wonderful day and we will catch y'all later friends peace y'all